Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. It's gotten really, really hot out here in the Southwest. We just hit 90s three days in a row. That's 32 degrees C for everyone else out there in the world. And so that means, at least for me, summer is here. And so today, I wanna show you guys three outfits I'll be rocking, whether it be at home most of the time or whenever I go out for a little bit, go to the mountains where there's nobody around. And maybe you guys can find some inspiration or two sitting at home during quarantine isn't the best thing to do, it's not fun. So I always like to try and compose some outfits just to mess with colors, have fun with it. Okay, so now let's head to the fits. Okay, so for the first fit, I try to make this as simple as possible and went with my go-to color blocked outfit. So if you guys don't wanna think about a fit, my go-to color blocking method is a color t-shirt, black pants, and white sneakers. So we got this brown, almost golden t-shirt from Uniqlo with their Dry X technology. I'm in a size medium, although I would have liked the size large after receiving it, but you know, can't go to the mall anymore. And plus, there's no Uniqlo's out here in New Mexico. If you guys don't know, Uniqlo offers a ton of technology pieces to help you feel more comfortable or to actually perform. In this case, Dry X technology, it's both, with moisture wicking fabric that also dries quickly to keep you dry and cool you off at the same time. It also is quite ventilated, which is perfect for those hot summer days. Summer days just in, okay, I'm, I'm getting distracted guys. Just look through the shirt. This is definitely what you want for those summer days and summer nights. An alternative piece is Uniqlo's Airism, which is very similar, but keeps you more cool in my opinion. And all these items are hella cheap as well. It's a really good bang for the buck and they got plenty of color options for you to choose from. And I'll talk about Airism more later in this video. Pants also come from Uniqlo. This is their regular fit black denim. Skinny denim works with this outfit as well, but you see that all the time. I mean, you're still gonna see it from me, but one thing I find that holds people back is that they get too comfortable with items that they like. Believe me, I love skinny denim and fitted shirts as much as any other guy, but in my opinion, it gets really boring really quick. There are seven days a week. I am not gonna be wearing skinny denim seven days a week. So anyways, with the relaxed fit, you get quite a lot of breathability, especially because I cuffed the pants, and I don't know, just a cut and shape of regular straight fitting pants have been a vibe lately. Whether you rock it with or without crew socks, I think it looks great. Skinny denim and crew socks looks good, don't get me wrong, but it's just not as nice as a straight cut fit. The white leather sneakers come from New Republic, basically a discount common project's Achilles low, but like heavily discounted. These are hella cheap. And as you guys know, white sneakers are perfect for summer. The Air Force Ones would actually work with this fit too, especially if you're shorter because Air Force Ones do give you some additional height, but won't look so chunky on you because the cut of the denim will balance out how chunky it is. But for this fit, I decided to go with the slim sneakers just because it was minimal and slightly more dressed up, if you can call it that. And before we get into the next fit, guys, I just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by ShopTagger, so let's cut to the ad. I'm sure you guys have heard of them before. I have personally been using ShopTagger for over the past year before they even sponsored this video. So bless, bless, bless you guys for subscribing, commenting, hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, they've helped me save a ton of money, time, and frustration whenever I'm shopping at online stores like many of the pieces you're going to see in the outfits I wear in the video. What else can we do besides online shopping anyways to feel some kind of normalcy? Like you guys remember going to restaurants a few months ago, right? <laughs> there is absolutely nothing worse than hearing, is Pepsi okay, after you're ordering a Coke. Come on, you guys feel me, right? Exactly, I feel the same way whenever I see an item I want that is sold out. It's never fun, it's not the best feeling out there. Then eventually you forget about the item completely and then you come across it again later on and they're still out of stock. Well, not to worry, fellas. Shop Target allows you to tag items so that you'll never have to forget about the piece or find out that it did restock and you missed out on it because Shop Target will notify you if items get restocked or if they go on discount. Click the link down in the description below and download the Shop Target extension on Google Chrome or download the mobile app on your phone and head to one of your favorite stores, start tagging some items. And here's what I find so useful about ShopTagger. You can make organized lists of items that you like, so you can plan some outfits, what to cop whenever you have that extra moolah. As you guys can see, I have mine organized on types of vibes. And when you tag an item, you can have ShopTagger email you or send you a push notification on your phone to notify you when an item has restocked or it's on sale. I personally like to leave it at any price change, but if you want to wait for a 25% or 50% off sale, you can set that up. And even if it's not on sale, this is what I like to do. Just hit checkout and Shop Tiger will pop up with the best potential coupon codes to save you even more money or even get you free shipping. So bless Shop Tiger. Plus a cash back feature is coming up soon so you can save even more money in the future. And yeah guys, it's basically free money. The app is free. So you guys should download Shop Tiger. And once again, Shop Tiger, 
Thank you for sponsoring this video. Next up, we've got a fit similar to what you've seen before. I've got on the Richie Lee Collection Maroon Vintage Dyed Shirt. Vintage dyed washes are my favorites as of late, and it's a good way to add color to my otherwise all black closet. And it's a great start to add colors into your wardrobe if you guys are in the same boat. Bright, saturated colors have their place in summer. I do like them, but a vintage dyed garment is just easier to incorporate into your wardrobe. You can color block them better because they're just not so harsh. Since Richie's site have sold out on these, you guys can always roll with the Carhartt shirt. Their colors aren't very saturated and for reference I'm wearing a size medium in the Richie Lee collection and I wear a size large in the Carhartt shirt and they look almost identical in terms of fitment so just keep that in mind. Cargo pants you guys have seen these way too much. I have worn these a ridiculous amount of times but these are Randy Lusion cargo pants. You guys know the drill. It's waterproof, has an adjustable taper and plenty of storage space. Perfect for the techie vibes. Also have an Orbit Gear messenger bag to tie off that vibe. It's the Steel Falcon messenger bag. I'm not too sure if it's on their site because they hand make all their items in low stock. I really like it because it can hold my computer, it's waterproof, has plenty of storage, and I'm also rocking gold accessories and I'll tell you guys why in a sec. And to finish the fit, we've got on the Akron Impresto's. So going back to color blocking, and I'll leave a link down below on a color calculator so you can mess with all the color blocking options there are from monochromatic, complementary, analogous, and plenty more. Anyways, let me break down probably the most common color blocking method, blue and orange. They're complementary colors or of opposite sides of the color wheel to be specific. And the reason they complement each other is because when you combine complementary colors together, you should get something like a neutral gray or a brown tone. Hence why you've always seen that teal orange filter on the gram years ago when that was popular or why a navy suit always looks best and should be worn with brown dress shoes. Purple and yellow are complementary colors. Now neon yellow and vintage dyed maroon purple it's not exactly nailing it to the T, but they still complement each other nicely. And I have on gold accessories because gold is yellow and that also complements off the shirt. So this fit was just messing around with complementary colors, which I'd say would make your summer fits a lot more fun. Now this fit isn't actually super breathable, so I'd definitely just wear it uh, on cooler days or inside your house since we're all quarantined and you know, depressed. Last but not least, we've got one of my favorite fits out of the bunch. For this one, I just really wanted to see if this color blocking would work. This is what you call the analogous color blocking method. You know, sometimes you look at the color calculator, you don't think it works, but then you try it on, and then it works. So that's what I did with this one. I'm rocking this blue Uniqlo Airism shirt from Uniqlo, obviously. I just said that. Come on, Johnny. And I'm rocking a size medium for you guys that always ask, what my size is Johnny what's your size please tell me your size you guys write so many comments just how about you just watch the damn video or read the description I'm just kidding guys I love you but seriously just read the description or watch the damn video <laughs> anyways you guys know about airism it releases heat and moisture from your skin cooling you off which is beautiful for the summertime and this is definitely the shirt I would recommend if you're a shorter dude like these shirts. You should get this shirt before any other type of oversized shirt if you're a shorter dude like me. See, if you size up like I have in my Carhartt shirts, at least for me, it has definitely extended past Little Johnny, and that could throw off your proportions if you wear the wrong items. If I ever do that, I try to wear sneakers that extend my height to balance that out, but with this shirt from Uniqlo, it's a boxy tee, which is perfect because the hem is a little bit past the waist area, making for better proportions. And the sleeves are longer than your normal tee, it has a drop shoulder, because look guys, as much as I love fitted shirts, not not all shirts should be cut above your triceps. That's ridiculous to me. In fact, it gives the shape of your outfit a whole new look that's a little bit more out of my comfort zone, and that's what I really like. Trying new fits, trying new cuts, seeing if I like it or if I don't. So, because the top is more boxy and has that oversized vibe, definitely want to rock it with more relaxed fitting pants. I find it looks better, in my opinion, but regular skinny denim works as well. That's what I like about Uniqlo. They have items that fit for athletic dudes, but they also don't push that that's how everything should fit. They have relaxed fitting items, boxy items, the whole bunch. Uniqlo, please sponsor me. You guys can email me at flywithjohnnytai at gmail.com. Thank you very much. I'm probably never gonna get that. Anyways, after my desperate plea of a, a sponsorship, <laughs> I'm rocking the Nike Lab ACG Fall Winter 18 Cargo Pants. Man, that is a mouthful, which are probably my favorite pants that I own in my wardrobe. Basically, a little history on it. This is the last collaboration with Earl and Hugh before Nike Lab died, and now it's just Nike ACG. It's weatherproof and has adjustable cargo, so you can take them out and showcase it for a more technical look, or you can unzip it and stow it away for a more minimal look. These are definitely really baggy. I suggest sizing down a size or two. 
These are a size small and I find that they are still slightly baggy. But yeah, again, going back to the proportions, if the pants are relaxed fitting, I tend to lean more towards a chunkier sneaker, which I did with the Air Force Ones. With these pants, I do find it hard to rock anything else with it. I have rocked it with white Vans, but eh, it looked okay to me, but that's just my personal opinion. Okay, so the accessories for this outfit, I didn't want to go too crazy because the colors of the outfit are doing a lot. So I kept it very simple and minimal. We've got on this gold Casio watch, probably the only watch you'll ever need for most situations. Very cheap, you can just pick it up on Amazon, I'll leave a link down below. And I'll also try to link as much of the items I've worn in the video down below. That way you guys can cop or tag it on Shop Tagger for future purchases. I've got on this simple rose gold cuff, very minimal as well. I've got on a tactical belt that holds up the pants and to let it hang off a little bit. And a carabiner clipped to the belt loop just to add that final touch. And of course, another Uniqlo item, the Uniqlo Blocktech shoulder bag, which you guys know about as well. All right guys, those are the fits. Which one was your favorite? Follow me on Instagram at FlyWithJohnnyTai for more lame fits. Hit that like button so that the YouTube algorithm gods can bless their channel with love. It really helps my channel out, honestly. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you are feeling this video. And until then, stay fly and animosity free. Download ShopTagger. What are you doing, man? It's free. And I'm out, bro. Peace.